Okay, so let's start. Good morning, everybody. I'm Chihiro Tanino. I'm working at Hitachi uh, Limited Japan. Thank you for participating in uh, this session. And also, thank you for giving me a valuable presentation uh, stage. So today, I'd like to talk about hardware error handling improvement for reliable KVM hypervisor. Before entering the uh, main topic, uh, I talk about my self donor introduction. So I'm Ichiho Tanino. Uh, I'm a Linux engineer and I'm working at Hitachi Limited since uh, 2004. Um, kind of my working area is last feature for KVM virtual environment. Uh, last means uh, reliability and availability and serviceability feature. Um, these features are important to mission critical environment. And my currently focus area is to improve features, uh, features associated with MCA recovery in order to apply KVM, uh, into high reliability, high reliable virtual environment. And I have a uh, development experience about virtual, uh, virtual machine manager for heterogeneous cloud systems. This software can manage AIX, HPUX, also vCenter or uh, HPVMM, Windows, Linux, uh, many hypervisors or bare metal servers can uh, manage uh, interesting software. So, today I will talk about these contents. At first, uh, I talk about the uh, background of the hardware error handling improvements. And then, next, uh, expectation, I talk about the expectation for hardware error handling. And, uh, and third session, uh, I talk about issues of unpredicted error handling and, uh, issue of, uh, corrected error handling. And last, uh, my future work. So, as part of background. So, as you know, uh, it is common that uh, companies drive their business uh, using private cloud or public cloud. And in these environment, environments, uh, hardware error makes greater impact on the system because uh, a few dozen of virtual guests are working on one hypervisor. So, previously environments, there are many servers and each server has uh, individual services. So if the one server uh, go down, uh, but other servers can keep their operation. However, currently, uh, service or uh, virtual machines are working on one hardware and one hypervisor. So the, if the hardware error occurs, all guests affected the hypervisor errors. So impact of hardware error uh, more bigger recently. So the one of the key feature is hardware error handling. Uh, in order to minimize affected area and hardware error, such as machine check, is detected. Isolating hardware with a failure and shutting down only affected guests are required. And as for commercial Unix, such as AIX, HPUX, uh, these platforms uh, have isolation features for hardware error when uncorrected error occurs at CPU or memory. And on the other hand, previous Intel 64 and Intel Architecture 32 servers do not have isolation features for CPU or memory. So therefore, uh, card panic was the only way when uncorrected error occurred, uh, occurred at CPU or memory. Um, however, Neharem EX, uh, this is the Intel CPU and CPUs after Neharem EX generation, MCA recovery was supported. Uh, MCA recovery can handle memory error, uncorrected, uncorrected error by specific error detection and inform it to operating system. So that this uh, feature leads Linux to be able to handle uh, memory uncorrected error. So there are three key features uh, for hardware error handling. Uh, as, uh, one is the pre-failure detection, and the next is failure isolation. And third is 
community of isolation. So as for peripheral detection, uh, this means uh, detect and isolate error regions of hardware that frequently exhibit corrected error. So if corrected error occurs frequently, the region uh, may be likely go down uh, in the future. So isolating is important. And next, as for failure isolation, uh, isolate uh, error region of hardware that exhibit uncorrected error before operating system or application user uh, regions using the such as mass uh, efficient recovery. And third point, as for continuity of isolation, uh, keep information of hardware error, such as corrected error, permanently uh, until the hardware is repaired. So, the next session, I will talk about the expect uh, expectation for hardware error handling. At first, uh, I talk about what is hardware error handling. Uh, for example, hardware error handling in the current operating system uh, receives the platform error, such as memory 2 bit uh, error. Operating system isolates uh, memory from usable area or recover error based on hardware specification and keep system running as much as possible. And generally, uh, server has uh, this hardware, GPU, memory, IO system, and this hardware has uh, each uh, error handling features. And also, uh, as for general errors, uh, there are corrected errors or uh, uncorrected errors. Uh, this error has two types, uh, one is the UC, this uh, error cannot uh, handle at operating system and also cannot recover. And UCR means uh, uncorrected recoverable error. So this error type uh, can isolate uh, hardware and uh, collaborate, collaborate between hardware and software and operating system. And fatal error also cannot uh, continue the system. So this table shows the expectation for hardware error handling uh, for each GPU, memory, IOS system. So for example, uh, G error of CPU uh, expectation is operating system or application monitor corrected error occurrence and isolate the CPU if the threshold over threshold. And current action. Uh, MC log, this is a software of uh, machine, check, uh, machine check monitoring software. Uh, MC log monitors the CPU occurrence, output, lo and output logs, and isolates the CPU if possible. And as for uncorrected error of CPU, uh, expectation is operating system handle UC and isolate the error region before operating system or application use that regions. But however, currently, processor uh, only falls the system down because the processor does not have a future of uh, handling the UC. So waiting CPU feature enhancement. So as for C of uh, memory, uh, expectation is operating system or application monitor corrected error occurrence and isolate the memory region over threshold. Um, currently, MC log monitors G occurrence and isolate if the region can be isolated, but this feature is not enough. Um, also, UCR of uh, UCR type of memory uh, expectation is OS handles UCR and isolate the error region before operating system application use the regions. And current action, when kernel receives uh, I receive a UCR from hardware. Can I try to isolate error region if possible? If that's not possible, uh, hypervisor keep running, ignore the error. But uh, this behavior is not enough. So today, uh, I focus on the UCE and UCR of memory, uh, about the memory. So, the detail of 
improvement point for memory error handling. Uh, as for the preferred detection of CE, uh, improvement point is MC log does not retry uh, isolation, hence isolation failed due to use of memory, memory or failure of memory migration. So this is the uh, improvement point. Um, as for a uh, continuity after isolation of CE, improvement point is MC log does not keep she occurrence permanently. For example, uh, on the disk or on the NVRAM, uh, the, the information is stored in memory and it's flushed after rebooting server. So the hidden feature on the permanent, permanent storage is required. And as for failure detection of UCR, uh, there are two improvement points. Um, uh, first point is currently KDAMP failed to get the memory dump after isolation of UCR because uh, KDAMP, the second kernel of KDAMP touches the error memory region and causes the kernel panic. So KDAMP uh, failed and need to fix that in the future. Um, second point, data corruption uh, comes from the data loss problem occurs when an uh, uncorrected recoverable error occurs on a dirty cache. Because the page is truncated, truncated and, uh, and data on the page cannot be written to disk anymore. And this slide shows the uh, type of machine check, uh, machine check exception and error handling flow. This table shows the uh, type of MC and uh, this figure shows the uh, error handling flow. Uh, for example, as for uh, corrected error means uh, an error corrected by hardware. Uh, UC means uh, hardware couldn't correct, correct an error. Uh, processor uh, process context is corrupted and uh, cannot continue to operate, in, operate the system. And UCR, there are three types. One is SRAR, and next is SRAO, and next is UCMA. There are different uh, errors. And as for SRAR, this means the software recoverable action required. The error is detected, and the processor already consumes uh, memory, so shutdown of the system is recommended. Um, as for SRAO, uh, some data in memory is corrupted, but the data has not been consumed. And the system can perform a recovery action uh, collaborated with the operating system. And UCMA uh, means that some data in memory is corrupted, but the data has not been consumed. The uh, system may continue to operate. So look at the bottom figure. Uh, I explained about the UCR uh, handling flow and C handling flow. Um, if MC occurs, uh, there are two types, UC and UCR. And when UC occurs, uh, kernel panic is required. Um, if error type is UCR, uh, there are SRAO and SR, SRAR type and SRAO. Um, the error type is if, uh, if error type is SRAO, uh, there are two, there are two, uh, types. Uh, if the uh, error page is belongs the kernel side, uh, the error page cannot isolate from the kernel, so the uh, error handling feature of operating system ignore error page and continue to operate the operating system. Um, if the error page belongs to the user side, such as process, uh, operating system uh, handler uh, queue uh, process and continue to operate, operate the operating system. And if machine check occurs, uh, the type is CMCI. Machine CI means uh, corrected machine check interrupt. Um, but, um, this type is uh, corrected error. 
operating system uh, operates uh, log on the error page and keep system running. In the next section, uh, I'll talk about issue of uncorrected error handling. So this uh, shows the uh, SRA or isolation mechanism at Linux. There are six steps uh, for, hand, uh, for SRA or error handling. Um, step one and step two. If uh, memory error occurs, um, CPU uh, notifies the uh, CPU finds the memory error. CPU, uh, if the CPU finds the memory error while do, uh, doing patrol scrub or explicit write back, uh, this, this is a MC recovery feature of CPU. The CPU uh, raise SRA or machine check exception into an operating system. And after step three, the do machine check. Which is the MCE handler of Linux, which is, uh, that is a machine check and register error to MCE link, uh, link buffer, and if error type is SRAO, SRAO is a recoverable error. And then, after step four, uh, the, the memory failure function, which is hardware point handler, is called at process context. After MC occurs, and the handler continues to process SRAO in MC ring uh, after step six and five until MC ring becomes empty. And step, um, uh, step five and step six, uh, the hardware poison handler sets the PG hardware poison flag into the PG threat, uh, which manages the broken physical memory areas. And then, how we poison handler try to isolate target pages. So, how we poison handlers have some error isolation actions. The detail, uh, will, I will next, I will explain next slide. So, mainly, uh, there are four types of isolation features, uh, at how we poison handler. One is isolate in the, Isolate the error page from the operating system, uh, operating system, usable area of operating system, and other processes can, uh, cannot use the, the error page. And send CQ, uh, if the process, uh, page belongs to the process, uh, process, uh, and cannot recover, uh, process receives the CQ and the process is killed. And if the, uh, how, uh, and Shibas case, uh, if, uh, process have a signal handler for Shibas, uh, process, uh, handles, uh, using own signal handler and continue to operate. Um, ignore means, uh, uh, uh error page belongs to the kernel, uh, the page cannot isolate, so only ignore action. So, this video shows the SRA or isolation mechanism between host OS and Linux guest OS. So, if page belongs to QM KVM process, QBus is sent to QM at step 6 and step 7. Step 6 is here and step 7 and here. So, and then QM sends a pseudo SRA all into guest at step 8. And after that, uh, MCE handler inside uh, Linux guests received the uh, MCE and handler SRA wall in the same way at host. So the error page uh, can isolate inside the Linux guest, only Linux guest. So next, uh, I will talk about the uh, problem of hardware point handler. Uh, there are two problems of uh, SRA or error detection. One is KDAM failed to get a memory dump after isolation of SRA wall. And next is data lost and function occurs when SRA wall is detected or data cache. At first, uh, about, uh, 
uh, I talk about theta games. So when get up process operates memory dump, uh, Adam Kernel does not know which memory has uncorrected error type of SRA work. So therefore, get up, uh, get up kernel may touch uh, memory error, which has uncorrected error, and, kernel. and as a result, get a machine check, okay, and memory dump process fail to get memory dump. So in order to fix the problem, my approach is the two approach. One is a uh, make the file, which is a uh, command of one of a, one of a command of data. Um, make the make the file already support a uh, feature, which specifies the uh, type of unnecessary page, such as free page or swap page or so on. So the page into a bitmap and this page are uh, excluded from a memory down file. So my approach is exclude hardware poison page from memory dump by adding a hardware poison page into a dump bitmap such as here. And uh, then the bitmap is created. So check mark means uh, included is uh, memory dump and non-check means uh, exclude from the dump file. So this approach to uh, is uh, necessary to fix this. One is kernel site, uh, export PG hardware point flag in order to use this flag at make them file command. Um, at make them file site, uh, add a new page type to exclude hardware poison error page. And uh, this, uh, this exclude hardware poison page uh, is I made a reproduction. So uh, I proposed a patch set uh, and accepted uh, by a maintainer and merged at make them file 1.5.2 and 3.9 with candid one kernel. Um, my upstream activity is following. Um, this figure shows the KDAMP result. The, as you can see, uh, there are some pages. These pages are not uh, included. Uh, uh, these pages are excluded from KDAMP file. For example, uh, page field with zero, zero page, or uh, cache page, or uh, cache page or private page, or free page. And uh, I added uh, how to have poison pages. Uh, following this uh, figure shows the uh, result, uh, there are 20 hardware poison pages, and this page are uh, excluded from a memory dump. And also, K dump succeed. So, next is uh, data lost and fraction case. This figure shows the uh, in our isolation actions uh, at hardware poison handler. Hardware poison handler uh, have uh, some error actions uh, depend on the page type. So if the error page uh, belongs to the free page, uh, that page can isolate, uh, uh, isolate the target page, uh, can isolate the target page and Keep operating system running. And slug means a kernel page. In this case, uh, hardware poison handler cannot handle, so only ignore the page. Um, also, if the page belongs to green cache, uh, that page can isolate and keep the host OS or guest OS running. And this figure shows uh, at the number five case, there is a difference between and isolation action and expectation action is different. So detail I will like to explain. This will show the uh, logic of data loss and corruption problem. So if uh, 
such step one, when an application writes some data with write through mode, the data is cached. The data is cached on the buffer cache, and then write system call is done instantly at step five. Therefore, a write system call uh, from an application is uh, completed instantly at step three. Uh, if memory error occurs, uh, MC recovery lays machine check into kernel, and hardware poison handler catches the error and set height of hardware poison error with error rabbit into target page, and also sets uh, as EIO flag into the file system. And then, if target page is dirty, dirty page, hardware poison handler blankets the target page at step four. So as a result, uh, cache page lost. Uh, as a result, database problem occurs because uh, that cache does not fit in, into a disk. So next, if application reads the data uh, using the system call at step five, all the data is read from the physical disk. So therefore, uh, if application process using all the data, data corruption problem occurs at step seven. So if application reads the data using uh, system call or system call, uh, this system call gets uh, as EIO error at first time, but uh, the file system uh, clear, uh, file system clears the after uh, after of file system. Cleared after first sync or F sync, so the next read uh, gets all the data from physical disk. This is a pro uh, detail problem. So the next slide shows the uh, impact of the data loss and production problem. So this is a use case, uh, example case of the KVM environment. Uh, as the four post case, uh, impact of truncation dirty cache is low. Uh, I think it's low because uh, QM process, QM, KVM process, uh, QM processes, um, if QM, uh, KVM use cache record known for this type, uh, QM, KVM uh, submits IO by direct IO, and IO are not cached at the host side. And as for this case, uh, impact of truncate. The uh, truncate in dirty cache is high because IO from application inside guest is cached at the file system, at file system layer. And if dirty cache is truncated by hardware poison hardware, data of application is lost. And also, uh, if application use auto data in the program physical disk, data corruption problem occurs. So, uh, required. Uh, Isolation action is kind of goes panic instantly at the guest OS and same user data before data loss or data production problem. So currently, I'm proposing a patch and discussing the patch at upstream, and I propose a kind of panic node into a hardware poison handler, and uh, some maintainer commented my patch, and uh, currently uh, we are discussing what is the uh, best way to handle the data cache data loss problem. So next session, uh, for the next session, uh, I'd like to talk about issue of predictive error handling. At first, uh, explain about the MC log features. So MC log is a demo of uh, demo for handling and uh, reporting hardware errors. And the typical feature is error logging and error accounting, and back page of lining and cache error handlings. Uh, this feature shows the result of uh, MC log. Uh, if uh, memory error occurs, MC log outputs the that log, and this log indicates the uh, error of CPU 0, memory bank 2, 
um, inner type is unpredictable error um, necessarily involved. Um, okay, address address is here. Um, this is the uh, another result of M0. Uh, this means uh, five uh, five predicted memory error occurs for, uh, during the twenty four hours, and also one uncorrected error occurs during the uh, twenty four hours. So the next I will talk about the back page of lining. So if predicted error occurs in specific memory region, uh, intentionally, the region is likely to go down uh, in the future. So MCL can log the predicted error trends and uh, uh, in order to warn the system administrator to take other predictive action when the error rate exceeds the threshold. So this table shows the expectation expected future for Batpage error grinding. Um, as for number one, I select target page in case of three page currently supported. And as for number two, uh, retry isolation when the page is free. This uh, feature doesn't support it. Find to MC load. Um, as for number three, continue to keep memory error database into a disk or non volatile memory until hardware is depressed. This uh, feature also doesn't support it as current MC load. Um, as for number four, isolate error pages. Again, using memory error database after rebooting a server. This uh, feature does not also currently support it, not currently, not support it currently. So, the requirement of uh, action one and action two for continuity after predicted isolation, I think MC log uh, isolate following. Pages when the error rate exceeds threshold. Uh, however, MC log failed to isolate the page if application uses the page of the page or uh, the page belongs to kernel. Uh, as a pharma case, uh, a page can be isolated from a usable page after application is use of the page be finished. So, required uh, feature is MC log should isolate target page. And the page will be freed from the application. So, as for number three and number four case, continuity after predicted error isolation, currently MCL manages error page using memory error database, but this database is temporary on inside of the only memory. So, Information of error pages, uh, which exceed its corrected error, uh, only exists on memory. Um, these information are flashed after reboot, such as daily system maintenance or weekly system maintenance. So, required action uh, about number three, uh, store memory error uh, database into a file or a disk or output errors into NVRAM. Uh, using EFI or API file function in order to keep data and the hardware is depressed. And the required action uh, about number four, isolate error pages using back page of lining uh, with the error data of number three. Um, error pages uh, should be isolated from a usable page before boot up of KVM guests. Because KVM guests allocate uh, large memory, large amount of memory store. So the, this is a summary of my presentation. Uh, recently, uh, it is common that enterprise servers, uh, especially for cloud environments, uh, likely have a large amount of memory. This, uh, this means the uh, security of memory failure is increasing. Uh, with the improvement of hardware, hard, uh, with the improvement of hardware, hardware error handling has been provided at 64 or as uh, in the architecture 
as a DP servers. And hardware error handling of Linux has been continuously evolved. However, more improvements are necessary at these three points. At first point is prepared detection. Any device uh, uh, affect, affection or, or hardware corrected error by early detection of hardware error. Uh, isolation, which marks hardware poison uh, of the error page as a usable area. Um, as for failure isolation, isolate hardware error uncorrected error and providing isolation actions which use can accept it to meet their needs. And continuity uh, required require action of continuity of isolation uh, store hardware error data permanently on disk or um, use that, that data as a uh, presentive activity to prevent Output error. So, my future work, uh, my future work, uh, there are three future work uh, for failure detection and repair detection and continuity after isolation. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have a uh, question, please ask me.